When I was a little kid, I loved building houses out of cardboard boxes. Today, when I'm a little bit older, I still do it, but on a bigger scale. I have created a house for our victims of natural and human-made disasters. And the number of those people reached last year 150 million. The structure is made as a flat package that can be transported to the site and then folded into the form of a house. But actually, why should we use cardboard or paper, because they are exactly the same material, to, you, uh, to build houses? Building industry is one of the most energy-consuming and waste-generating sectors. It is responsible for 24% of the non-renewable material uh, extraction and 36% of global energy consumption. So if we take paper, we can look at it and it looks like a portion of spaghetti that was poured on the plate and left to dry. Uh, the structure of paper looked like the noodles of spaghetti and um, uh, they, the, the, the cellulose fibers, which are in between, create hydrogen bonds. Cellulose is one of the most natural polymer in the world <clears throat> and its resources are uh, inexhaustible. Paper can be recycled up to seven times. So what can we do with one batch of paper? A house, a wardrobe, a box, a book, a newspaper, a tissue, and then at the end it will be all eaten by bacteria. If we compare 18 cm wall with 80 cm wall made of concrete, the first one is two times more thermally insulated. It is said that timber is a new concrete, but paper is an evolved timber. So if you will hear a story about the three little pigs, don't believe that the third one had a house made of bricks. It was paper. Thank you. Hi, it's, it's, it was a really wonderful talk, thank you. And I was wondering if, why, why it, 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 we, we use, nowadays with this globalized world, we use the same computers and essentially dress the same things, but in housing it's different because, because we still uh, construct the houses the way you, we do it locally. Why do you think, um, uh, this is not the case with housing. I mean, why do we are, why nowadays we are uh, building houses locally, not so much the, uh, in the globalized uh, fashion, say? Okay, well, actually, <clears throat> uh, like in the beginning of 20th century, there was this modernist movement and it was recognized as an international style. So we do it in some way, in a global way. But uh, of course, the best is to use the local materials so you don't use energy from transportation and uh, but paper is actually the material that is super easy to produce if you have the, the, the infrastructure and you can do it everywhere because it's almost everywhere uh, accessible so, so obviously, obviously we have our own characteristics the climate so you need to have like different type of roof and so on which will make the architecture suitable for the for the uh, local conditions but I, I'm pretty sure that the, the style these days is more international and, and worldwide. Thank you, Yeshi. It, that was a fascinating talk. Tell me more about this polymer that's in plastic. Um, how exactly is it formed and does it make or how does it make the houses waterproof? OK, well, in plastic or in paper, sorry. You talked about the polymer in, in paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the cellulose is the, the main component and uh, this is like the, the fibers that create each other the hydrogen bonds during the production once they are pressed and dried. And thanks to that, after we water it again, it can be recycled. And this is, of course, a problem for building industry. So paper is not recognized as a building material yet because if the water would get there, that might cause some problems. 
However, there are several methods to impregnate it. You can do it in the mass when you produce paper. You can do it to coat it with some material. You can do it by, uh, for example, uh, thermoplastic shrinking or thermo shrinking, shrinking sleeves. Or you can do it like our friends from TU Darmstadt from Germany. They just build a core of the house out of cardboard and then the outer layers are um, uh, the layers that uh, support the, the, the inner structure. Yeshi, thanks very much. I wonder how much these houses would need to change or the makeup of them would need to change. Say, for example, in Poland, where you've got snow, in the UK, where we've got plenty of rain, um, or perhaps in the Caribbean, where there's, there's more sun. How different would they have to be and how could that be incorporated into the idea? Yeah, then we would have to uh, design maybe one system which can be flexible in order to fit into different climates. So, for example, the, the, there is a building in in UK in um, uh, West Cliff on Sea, which is made out of several layers of uh, honeycomb panels, and it's thermally insulated enough. The other example may be the German example, and the wall has 30 centimeters, and it's uh, it fits exactly the the, the, the local uh, conditions. On the other hand, the the building, for example, designed and built by Japanese architects Shigeru Ban for Kobe or from India, was made just out of paper tubes which are stuck to each other, but, but in, in the, the harsh, harsh conditions, conditions it, they were filled with, with the, the crumpled, crumpled paper. paper. So, depending on the on the on the climate zone, you can you can deal with the material and the and the building envelope.